Hey fam, welcome back to my channel, It's Your Girl Jess. So today's video is a video that I'm really excited to talk about and it's about self-confidence. So self-confidence is something that I have struggled with in, um, I guess I would say 80% of my life. It's only been, I would say about the past six months, I have really worked on my self-confidence and my self-worth and all that. But before then, I was, I guess, a bit more self-confident than I used to be. I used to literally hate looking in the mirror. I never used to look in the mirror. Um, I would look in the mirror in the morning just to put some Vaseline on and look a bit bougie. <laughs> that was my makeup. But other than that, I never used to look in the mirror ever. Anytime I'd walk past the mirror, I would look straight. I never looked at a mirror. I was so disgusted with my own self image and my reflection that I'm like if I look at myself I'm gonna start crying because all my friends were so pretty and everyone I think everyone's so beautiful in their own way and I was just like I can't look at myself and my friends obviously they'd look in the mirror make sure that they were all good and I'd be like no no come on let's go let's go like I was just always like ready to leave looking at myself I, I hated photos I hated all that stuff because I was just I felt so ugly and I just, yeah, I, <laughs> it's crazy when I talk about it now because I feel like I've come such a far and long way. But if you're feeling like this, if you feel like a bit, you know, your self-confidence isn't as you wish it was, or you don't feel beautiful, you feel like you're ugly, you're comparing yourself to others, then this is the video for you. So let's get to it. So to start off, I just want to say, number one, the biggest thing I can say is your food, your diet is so much more important than people think. I think when I was in high school and primary school, I didn't used to eat the best. Obviously, I used to eat my mom's food all the time. Her cooking was incredible. Still is. <laughs> but I personally loved junk food. I love hot chips. I like Maccas, KFC, you know. Speaking of KFC, I'm feeling like them chi there's chips again. I think it's the time of the month. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really want to say that working out and eating healthier has changed my whole life. And I'm not just saying that. I used to be skinny when I was a teenager. And then I finished school. I gained all this weight. Um, I just felt disgusting. I had no definition. I was just... I reckon, I, I don't even know how much I weighed because I was scared to look in the scale, but my clothes were all tight. I started wearing size, different sizes, um, and I personally didn't like it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to eat more. I felt like I wasn't really doing, I used to walk a lot. Then when I got my peas, obviously, I did not like walking. I was like, why the hell would I walk if I can drive? You don't need to work out, but I think any form of exercise is so freaking healthy i just love the feeling of being stronger i love that physical strength for me and that's what i like to do at the gym i like to do strength exercising exercising <laughs> i personally feel like ever since i started the gym the gym has truly 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 helped me so much it just makes me see like results and then i start seeing like oh my god like this is me i'm doing this like no one is doing this for me this is my body and even if you have a trainer and they're motivating you, you're still doing the work. It's you. So I truly feel like ever since I started the gym more, I've trained out like five, six days a week whenever I can. Unless I have my periods, I don't train. And that's the honest truth. Um, or if I'm really sick or if I'm super busy, I try to work around my schedule. But I cannot recommend fitness, any type of fitness, going for a walk you know um drinking water drinking water is so incredible i feel like i haven't had soft drink for now i would say about eight nine years and i feel incredible i remember i tried coke once because my brother had it and it smells good right so i tried it and i was like oh my god this is disgusting where's my water bottle scold that i was like nah never doing this again yuck i used to live off chocolates and v <laughs> and coke that was my thing but ever since I wanted to make a health conscious choice and be like, okay, I will still eat my junk food. I just had some shapes, some cheese shapes. I'm not going to lie, I did and it was great. But ever since I started eating in moderation rather than just eating anything whenever I wanted and not even having a filter, I feel physically better. My 
Like when I look in the mirror, even if I do eat junk food, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't feel as bad as I would if that's all I was eating. And when I was depressed and hated the way I looked and I hated myself, that's all I ate. I only ate junk food. I never ate healthy stuff. I was like, what for? Like I already feel ugly. I look ugly. No matter what I wear, I'm going to feel like this anyway. So it really is a spiral of a thing. So the main thing I can say, and I also don't drink coffee. I know a lot of you do, but I heard coffee is actually a depressant. I don't do any drugs at all. At all, at all, at all, okay? And I know that might be a bit hard to stop. I feel like one thing that a lot of people do, no judgment, is marijuana. And... You know, those kinds of things are depressants. They actually don't make you feel better. They make you feel worse because you think more. You're in your depressing state more. You think more about, oh my God, my life really is like this. Oh my God. Yeah, you might feel good for about, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but really you're just trying to escape your reality. And I promise you, honey, your reality will creep up on you. Trust me, okay? I tried to escape my reality. It doesn't work. We are strong and we face our problems head on, okay? Don't forget that. That's just my thing. I don't recommend doing any drugs. I don't recommend drinking alcohol. I don't drink alcohol either. I don't personally like it. One, I don't like the taste and I don't like feeling like I'm not in control of my body and myself. I think that what you put in your body is a big, big deal. And, you know, I'm all for maybe the occasional drink here and there even though I don't do it or like it. I used to do it. I'm not going to say I've never done it before. I used to get drunk and I hated the way I used to feel. I hated the way I used to feel, especially the next day. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, why do people do this so often? Like, I didn't understand, but then I did understand because I was like not even thinking about my life. So I, can, I do understand, but I don't think it's a healthy choice. And I feel like if you want to live a life where you can look back one day and be like, oh my God, I lived a good life. I had fun. I lived a healthy life. You know, that is one big thing that I think you should change. And that is just my opinion. These are all my opinions. This is all what I did to make myself feel a bit better. Another thing that I started to do is journal. Now, I know that people say, yeah, write your feelings down, whatever. But I promise you, it helped me discover things about myself that I thought I healed from but I never did and wow powerful on a new level so I wrote down all the stuff that I was upset about all the stuff that I was self-conscious about and one thing that I realized that I was very self-conscious about and something that I did for so long and I try never to do again and I let me know if you guys do this compare yourself to others I can truly say that I used to compare myself to so many people, so many people. Oh my God, I think I used to just go on Instagram to compare myself to people. I used to go on Facebook to compare myself to people. And I used to always be like, why are they so gorgeous? Like, oh, if only I had the money. If only I had the money to, you know, um, get surgery and look this way. If only I could do my, my breasts. I don't have big boobs at all. And I used to be so self-conscious about it and people used to tease me about it. And I hated it. I was like, why the hell do I look like this? And, you know, it's it wasn't fair. I didn't understand. And it was just little things like that. I used to compare myself to how, I, to how other people looked because everyone looks perfect on social media. I used to compare myself to what they have. Oh my God, they bought their house. They have a great, they have a husband. They have a baby. They have you know, a great job. Why are they so, so successful? I'm trying so hard and hard and hard, but it's like the, fur the more I try, the further away I'm getting from it. But it's like, we don't see what is happening behind the scenes. We don't see how long they've worked for. The biggest killer of any joy is, pardon me, comparison. You should never, and I know it's so easy to said than done, but because I used to do it. I now don't look at the Explorer page ever. I don't want to. I don't I don't think it's necessary. I don't try I try not to be on my phone as much because I want to focus on other things, you know? So I limit myself. If you need to put a timer, put a timer on your phone for an hour so you have an hour to look at your social media. Here's here's something I want you to try. Write down how you feel before you go on social media. Go on social media and then write down how you feel after. And tell me has that helped you? I just want to know, has, has it helped you? Are you following people that truly inspire you? Are you following people that help you? One big thing that I realized with my self-confidence was, especially now, 
is everyone looks like they've got this their shit together and I'm over here and I'm like well I'm just starting my life again you know what I mean I'm just starting everything again I'm, I'm kind of like starting from the bottom up and especially when someone's the same age as you and you start thinking oh my god they're the same age as me and look at what look how much they have accomplished look how much they have why don't I have that why why aren't I there yet why 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 like I said the more you compare the more you're gonna you know end up hating your own life and then you're gonna end up doing nothing you're gonna be stuck exactly where you are so one thing I started doing was like okay I'm not gonna compare myself to anyone I'm gonna start focusing on my life and my accomplishments I'm happy for everyone don't get me wrong but I'm not gonna sit there and live in a place of hatred and jealousy and wish that I was somewhere where I'm not meant to be yet I truly believe in timing so I would sit down and I'd go not go on a social media anymore and I'd write down how I'd feel I'd write down my insecurities I'd write down why I'm beautiful the way I am and why everyone is beautiful the way they are and that honestly helped me so much I would legitimately look in the mirror <laughs> it's so funny saying this but I promise you it works I'd look in the mirror because I'm a makeup artist professionally so I love to hype up my girls especially when they get their makeup done hello sit there and I'd be like yes Jess you know you are her I'm so proud of you look at how much you've done look at what you've accomplished I would literally just hype myself up like I would be hyping up my best friend because I always say you are your best friend and if you thought if your best friend or your sister or your mom or whoever you love thought the way you think about yourself what would you tell them you're crazy as if you're gonna think like that look at you you know as if like blah blah blah. but it's what you think about yourself and so writing things down just gets it's like a release so you're like okay this is what I'm insecure about write it down let it let it release from your body look at that and be like okay write the date and then again in a month write how you feel and see if you've progressed and if you haven't question yourself why why haven't I progressed yet I know I'm good I know I've got a lot you know like affirmations really freaking helps a big thing that I did this was mainly last year was I got rid of people that were no longer helping me to feel good about myself they were bringing you down now this can be your family this can be your friends This can be a boyfriend this could be literally anyone in your life and I understand that when it's family it's so hard we all have family I guess like even if it's not your like intermediate family it's your cousins or your aunties or someone along the lines right that ha always has an opinion they always have something to say or my worst my, my pet peeve is when people joke about you and they're like why are you taking it so seriously it's just a joke but they do it so often you know that there's an underlying truth about it right no one should be joking about your appearance and I know it's so easy to say cut them off cut them off but yeah cut them off you don't need to always go when they call you you don't need to go to every function if you don't want to if you feel uncomfortable and you feel like well if I go I'm feeling good about myself they're gonna, they're gonna say something why do you need to go you need to be putting yourself first and that is so hard and it was so hard for me to do but I realized that if I don't make myself happy I'm never gonna make anyone happy if I don't make myself happy how am I gonna how is God gonna bless me into being the woman he wants me to be he won't because I need to take the first step so then God can do the rest you need to take the first step so then God can do the rest but you're too scared to take the first step why what, what's the worst that's gonna happen you're alive now you don't want to die and then think on, on your deathbed be like oh my gosh I wish I just wish I had more time because I would have changed everything no we don't want to think like that no more we don't want to be like that no more we are not like that anymore okay so number three cut out people that no longer serve you I'm sorry but it's the truth and I don't regret saying it and I'm not sorry about it I think it's the best thing anyone can do because those type of people are gonna just bring you down and they're gonna bring you down with them because they're already down there and they want to be like nah she's trying to rise no no they're gonna try pulling that rope down you gotta cut that rope off bye bye and I know some days you're gonna miss them some days you're gonna be like oh my god I feel like this I feel like that look yourself in the mirror go to a mirror and be like you are doing this for you tell yourself tell yourself why you do this remind yourself of who you are you are a queen and nothing less
if you really know me, you know I was going to bring this up. But the biggest thing that has helped me is God. And, and I'm not even just saying this. If it wasn't for God, I don't think I would even be here today with you. I wouldn't even probably be alive. So God has impacted my life in ways that, oh, that is just... It's indescribable in a way, if, if you may say, right? So I personally used to, I've always been into God, but I feel like the last year I have been super more religious and reading more the Bible, practicing on the scripture, practicing on God's word and just reminding myself that God is never, ever going to leave me. I have my dad in heaven. He will never leave me. And I feel like any time now that I feel not worthy I feel you know I don't feel myself I feel like I'm not as pretty or I start comparing and I start doing all the stuff that you know you shouldn't do I turn to God and I say to God please like God this is literally what I say God Holy Spirit you live within me you will never see me wrong I I want you to take all this anxiety all this stress please help me to stop comparing myself to others and to focus on the beautiful blessings that you have given me. I start thanking God. I start writing down, again, I write down everything that I'm grateful for. Every single thing, it could be the smallest thing. I'm so grateful that I have a job. I'm so grateful that I have a roof over my head. I'm so grateful that I actually have a bed to sleep in, a comfortable bed to sleep in. I am beyond grateful that I have food every single day. I am grateful that I am fully healthy, fully functioning. I am grateful that I have the mindset of you, God. I'm grateful that the Holy Spirit lives within me and I'm forever seeking better greatness. I'm seeking my purpose because God, you're telling me what to do. I'm not trying to force or, you know, tell anyone to be religious, but God is the biggest part of my life. And I truly feel like I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for God. I would not have the career I have. I would not have the mindset I have. I feel like God truly tells me to, God has put me through all these things so I can come on here and to help women, help you to start seeing life the way I never used to see it. And that is truly why I'm doing this because I want you to know that you are so much better than you ever think. You are so much greater. I asked God for something small and he gave me he gave me something that I never thought I could have. You know? I asked God to bless me in a way. Okay, for example, I asked God to help me with my career. God has done more more for me in my career in the past 3 months than I could ever do. And I was I've been in this career for I would say about 4 or 5 years now, and in the last 3 4 months I have been blessed every single day, every single week. And I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm just saying the power of God is so great. Oh, I could talk about this all the time because it's so it's so rewarding. Like it's so fulfilling when I talk about something and someone can relate with me and they say I needed to hear this today. That to me is so fulfilling. Making someone feel so beautiful is such a rewarding feeling. Money cannot buy that. I'm not doing this for anything. I'm doing this because I want you to see it. And every time you feel down, when you click on this video and remember that you are a queen and you are a boss and you are stunning, beautiful and inside, because inside is what matters. If you have a good heart, you're going to radiate within. I promise you. Another thing that really, really helped me was actually getting dressed up. Oh my God. And I know you might be like, but when I was not happy for a while and when my dad passed, I would live in my trackies. I would live in my singlet. I would live in my slum clothes. And I never once wanted to even look. I never even did my hair. I never put any makeup on. I never did anything. I was just like, I feel like shit and I want to look like shit. I am disgusting. Also, something that I need to say because I don't know if anyone's going through this now. But when I used to leave my hair curly, everyone used to tell me it looked like a mop. So that's the reason why I used to always straighten my hair. I didn't want to be the mop girl that's what I used to get called mop girl because my hair was so curly it was like little ringlets and it used to make me cry because everyone in my school had straight hair and I was like why am I the only one that has curly hair even in high school I was the only one that had curly hair so it was always in a bun I never let it out I was like I look disgusting until one day I was so over straightening my hair for two hours I was overdoing keratin I'm like I want to be me I want to be Jessica I want to have my curly hair, I want to embrace it. 
Not for anyone. I don't want anyone to validate me. So I left my curls and I rocked it. And I and that's the reason why I don't like straightening my hair because I love my curls. You know, I love getting dressed up. I love, even if it's like, I can wear trackies and a nice top and then put a bit of makeup on. I'm like, yes, I am her. I'm the casual sleek bee. You know, I just want you to remember and realize that you're so amazing and sometimes when you like even buy yourself a pair of shoes or if you don't even like you can like style yourself with the same stuff that you have so say you have two pairs of jeans and you have three tops you can get a ribbon and add the ribbon to your jeans just to make yourself feel like it's something new feel good about yourself you deserve that you deserve it don't be lazy and be like no i don't want to get dressed i don't i can't be bothered why you deserve that to do that for you. Why? Why not? What are you scared of? What, why Why don't you want to take an extra 10 minutes just to feel a bit better about yourself? That really helped me a lot. And every time I feel disgusting or I feel I have those bad days, I do my makeup. I go get a, I go get a drink. I go get a, um, when I say drink, I mean a juice. <laughs> I love juices. I'll go get a juice. I'll go get eggs. I'll go take myself out to lunch because I love my company. That boosts my self-esteem. And I promise you when that happens, other people will feel that and they want to talk to you. They want to be like, oh my God, who is she? I am her <laughs> and you are you. So my main things are eat healthier, try some form of exercise. I promise you, I promise you, okay? Write your thoughts down, write your feelings down, analyze that, realize what you're telling yourself and question that. Write down your goals and, and believe that it will happen because anything and everything is possible, okay? Have some faith in anything. It could be God. It could be crystals. It could be anything that you want. Have faith. Get get a bit more dressed up. Even if you want to just put purple on. Do it. Curl your lashes and put purple on. Put sunscreen and you're good to go. <laughs> put, a, put a ring on when you're going out. So you don't like jewelry? Put a ribbon on. on your, like put a belt. Put something, right? My last tip is to look in the mirror every morning and tell yourself something amazing about yourself literally write affirmations on your phones as reminders so every time you're feeling down and you read it yay all right at first you might not believe it but the more you do it the more you feel it stop scrolling on your social media for hours <laughs> you got better things to do and i know it's scary starting something new i know i trust me i know but the main thing is to get started because on the on the other side of uncomfortable and scared city is bliss is incredible things is things that you never thought you could have get comfortable with being uncomfortable because i promise you this world is amazing our life is great our life and our the way we perceive life is the way life is for you if you want to sit down and think that your life sucks and everything bad happens to you yeah of course it's going to keep happening but if you want to be like you know what i'm changing my luck i know good things keep happening to me and I know it might take a while for you to believe it, but the more you say something, the more enthusiasm you have, jump, jump around. Who cares if people say like you're weird? Who cares? Cut people out that don't serve you. Cut people out that joke about you, that make fun of you. Stop talking to those people. You, who you surround yourself with is who you start to become. Why don't you want to surround yourself with people that are inspiring and helping? And if you don't have people like that, read books. Go on, go on YouTube and listen to some incredible people and you're like, you know what, that's what I want to attract because you are who you attract. And that is something I have to find out the hard way. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that and I really hope this video helped you. You are all so beautiful and amazing and I promise you, I promise you, life is just beginning for you. I can't wait to hear all your stories about how you've been so blessed and how your self-esteem has helped because I believe that you can change no matter how old you are. No matter what is happening in your life, you can change the way you think if you want to. It all starts with you. And I know you clicked on this video for a reason. All right, my loves. <laughs> that was very intense. But I love you all so much. You're all so special and incredible. And you all have a purpose here. And don't ever forget that. You're all beautiful in your own way. And the way you are is what makes you so beautiful because you're unique. And there's no one in this whole world like you. And don't ever forget that. All right, my honeys, I'll see you in my next video. I love you all so much. Have an amazing day, night, evening, wherever you are. And yeah, I could keep talking about you all day, but I'm going to go. I love you so much. Bye-bye.